Hello team, greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on UFT. This is Nirsh Kumar Singh and you are watching UFT tutorial series. The topic for today is the library framework. Generally here we talk about the function libraries. The function library is just like any other library what you would be knowing about. So say for example an ordinary library has a lot of collection of books and each book has a unique title or a new reference number by which people can look for the book where exactly it is. Otherwise it will be really hectic to find out a book in a big library. So same way here we call it as a function library where we can put a particular set of script into different functions and we only call that particular book or the function which we need at any point of time. So today we will understand that how the scripts can be well managed and maintained for reuse as well as calling in different bits. So let's create that using a new test. So all we would need for this step to be performed is a particular new test and uh, a function library file. So here we have got a new test. Second is to create a function library but for that you would need to create it. It is not created by default just like how you create a new test you can also create a new function library which is going to have collection of your functions. So just come to the new menu and pick up new function library. As you create this if you really want uh, you are aware or you're comfortable with the VB scripting you can also use it externally like you can use a .vbs file .txt file or if you create it using with help of uh, the UFT then you call it as .qfl. QFL stands for quick test function library. I repeat QFL stands for quick test function library. So that is the file extension if you create it using UFT but if you want you can directly write it in a text file and save it as .vbs. VBS is VB script or just the notepad ordinary file .txt. These are all the one which are readable. So this is what we are the first one which we are trying to create now and I'm just saving it as uh, let's go to my folder which is on desktop uh, where is it desktop and I have a folder here can you see that my UFT so I'm just going to create inside my UFT and name it as my underscore library okay so now you have created a library and there will be a new tab added here and you can see the name at the bottom here that is my library dot qfl. So for this to add here uh, generally what you do is the syntax is function space as you give the space it automatically adds the end function step and you give a function name for example it can be launch. So launch in the sense uh, maybe you know my event is to launch the application and I'll be having script within this to launch. So whenever I use the word uh, the function name launch it will just call this particular function. So generally the syntax says that you fill in the parenthesis you can see on the right as well the function is created with the parenthesis so even if you don't have it it will work but this is a proper syntax which will generally say when you want to pass a parameter. When we pass a parameter when we want to uh, fetch a value or carry a value by the function but even if you don't do this the parenthesis UFT's uh, VB script is very user friendly and it will be executable. Just for your reference, I'll create some functions with parentheses, some function without parentheses, so that what I'm saying can be justified. So to add scripts within this, I can just quickly do that. For example, uh, let's create the launch step and paste the path. Now that's all. Your one function is ready. Now if I call a function launch, it will run that. So let's quickly create some more and then I'll show you how to do it with an action. So for this I would need this script. Remember the library is an external file. It does not support object repository. So even if you have the objects in the repository and you try to write the script it will not do any kind of autocomplete option or suggestions on the object name. But it will only work with action. So action is an inbuilt file so it can read the memory but my library is an external file cannot be read. So just to save our time I'm quickly recording the entire script which can help us to quickly copy paste the script instead of writing it which will be quite a lengthy process. So let's create something for login. Say OK. So 
So here my concern is just to get the script. So I'm not doing all the activities. If you want, you can add whatever you want. And stop. Can we please stop regarding? Oh, come on, don't say that. All right, so finally we got the script here. Let me just remove this extra line which was unwantedly recorded. So uh, all you can do is to save your time, maybe just I'll copy this and take it out from here and just create a function called as login. And this time I'll not use the parenthesis just to prove you that it can work without that as well. And it is required only when you want to pass a parameter. So again, so you can create any as many number of functions you want and say I put it as fly and uh, go to action and fly part will be basically to book the flight. So till here, I'm taking it into the library, control V and then the last function is to close. So it's up to you how you want to create. If you want, you can put everything in just one function or if you want, you can put it everything in uh, different functions. So just to close, I'm dragging and dropping this uh, from here, control X. So now my action is actually empty. So generally what we do is as this is an external file, we just create and save it for once for all. And whenever you need it, you just call the function name. So you don't have to waste your time recording the script or writing the script every time you'd create a new test. So right click on the tab and save because whatever changes you have made should be saved for the future use. Now, all you have to do is when you come to action, you just have to make sure that you have associated this external my library file to the action because my library is an external file and action is an internal file and action should know that where is the library. So to do that, all you can do is right click on the my library and say associate function library with GUI test 15. Now what is GUI test 15? The one which is open right now. So if you see here, it is GUI test 15, which is open. So if you open any other number of test or any other name, it will want to automatically show you that all you have to do is just associate. So as you associate, you can see the function library will pop up here that now this test has a library associated. So to do execution, you just have to say call followed by the function name. Now functions are case sensitive. So just make sure that what you are writing is as per the case. So I use all small letters like lower case. So it's going to be fine. Now that's not a spelling mistake. I'm not using close SE as a purposefully. The reason is it sometimes conflicts with the inbuilt command dot close. So fine, everything is here. We just have to click on run and see that how does it work. So this is how it will call the function and it will run the test. Bingo. So you see that, you know, we didn't write the script this time. We just took up a new action and uh, we just associated the external library and it is able to call these functions and execute. So my library has all the database what we need and the script is secured there. So as you open a new test here after, it will just help you to do the same job and you can save a lot of your time. So this is from the library function team, the function library, you can create as many functions you want and you can use them and share them with another test as well. It's a shared part. So we also call it as library framework. Beyond this, you can save this library for future uh, tutorials. We will be having keyword driven frameworks and many other things which will be requiring the libraries. So if you have created in this tutorial, please do save it for future use so that you don't have to create it again. And uh, as of now, this is what it is. Thanks for watching the video team. Keep learning, keep exploring, keep practicing. In case you have any query, feel free to comment it below. I'll be there to assist you. Beyond that, we will be coming up with another tutorial soon. Till then, keep learning. Thanks for watching team. Happy learning.